sure you've probably heard the word life hack, whether you've seen life hacks on Pinterest, Buzzfeed, YouTube, or just heard the word from a friend. And if you haven't, today I'm going to be putting those life hacks to the test to see if they actually work. And I'm going to be testing out some life hacks that I've never tried before that I got from various places online. Before we start this video though, I just wanted to put out a quick disclaimer and say that I'm not trying to like put anyone down who's made a life hack video because I have made life hacks videos, will make some in the future, and I think they're great. And if any of these life hacks don't work for me, that doesn't mean that they won't work for anyone else. So like, it could be human error on my part. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big fat thumbs up if you do, and let's see if these things actually work. If you want a way to easily separate an egg yolk and an egg white, apparently you can do that with a water bottle. Let's see. Let's do this thing. This water bottle is really wonky. If this works, this is gonna be some like class A magic. First step, crack the egg. Apparently you just take the water bottle and just like... <gasps> I'm gonna give this one more shot with a different, like, fresher water bottle. Don't worry, I'm not actually wasting any of this, so, like, it's gonna be okay. Okay, let's do this again. For the moment of truth. Okay. Oh my god, did you see it? It almost got it. It actually worked. I think the problem with this one the first time was me, and I also used like a really kind of like crinkled up water bottle, and this one's more fresh. So I think you just have to be quick about it, and whenever you do it, you have to just suck it up and then quickly move it over to the other one, but it definitely separated it like perfectly, so that was awkwardly very fun to do. I don't, it worked, yay! This next life hack is for when you get water stuck in your ear. Apparently, a solution to get that trapped water out is to blow into a deflated balloon. So, we're gonna try it out. This would be really helpful if it works because I'm always just at the pool and then I get water in my ear and I'm just like, get out. To get water into my ear, I took this old bottle of contact solution which was empty. I filled it with water after I cleaned it out. Now I'm gonna purposely shove that in my ear and put water in it. Was there a more scientific way to do this? Yes. Was I gonna waste my time to find that way? No, so here we go. Oh, it feels like I'm putting eardrops in. <gasps> Got it. <laughs> here goes nothing. I don't think it worked. Okay, so I totally didn't think that this worked, and then I just went to like check in my ear and I went like this. And there's nothing there, so I guess it did. I just didn't even feel the water come out. That's so weird, but it worked. Whoa. First things first. This is currently boiling. That's why it's making noise. My mom is making dinner. I hope I don't burn myself. This next life hack is for when you have to cut an onion. Apparently, if you cut an onion while you're chewing gum, you won't cry. So like your mascara doesn't have to run. You don't have to look crazy in the kitchen. The real question is if I can properly cut an onion. So um, don't hate on me in the comments. I'm, I'm not a chef. Let's see how scientific this is. I'm not crying, so I guess it worked. Second note, I'm just um, not talented at cutting onions. According to this life hack, if you have a toothpaste that is just regular paste and it doesn't have beads in it or isn't like a gel form and a CD with scratches on it, if you put the paste on the CD or DVD, it will remove any scratches. I'm testing out this life hack on the Care Bears movie. I was gonna try it on my Kim Possible DVD because it has a lot of scratches, but that is just too valuable. Like the stakes are too high for that. It never said like how much you need. So I guess I'm just gonna guess. This is easily one of the weirdest things I've ever done. I definitely feel like I put too much on. So I just removed the toothpaste gunk from the DVD and it looks like kind of dull. 
that's the word that comes to mind. I feel like I should still probably try it in the DVD player because if it ruined this, that would really suck. Time for the moment of truth. It works! Still. Yes, the DVD does still work. However, it worked before and I could still see scratches on it. Plus, it was just very, like, stressful. I probably wouldn't do this life hack. According to this life hack, if you paint on nail polish to the scotch tape and cut it out in a design and then stick it to your nail and put clear coat over it, it acts as like a nail sticker. I feel like this isn't going to work, but like if it did, then that would make painting your nails and like making cute designs a lot easier, so I thought that I would try it anyway. I guess the first step is to paint the tape. This feels very odd. Oh, this is, yep, this is difficult. There we go. I have absolutely no idea how I'm meant to trim the other side. It looks like I stuck a band-aid on it, and you might be like, no, it's the design, it's the colors, but honestly, I don't think I could do any other design. This was so, like, difficult. Plus, you can definitely tell that it's tape because it's, like, bumpy, and it's, it's not even worth the top coat. Like, mm-mm, I want it off right now. Big thumbs down. I think we all know what it's time for. Rip. That was the entire video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that some of those worked. Honestly, I have no idea because I haven't filmed that part yet, so like, I should probably rethink the process in which that I make YouTube videos. Was that even English? I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking because I just love you guys. Follow my social media. Yay, outro. Bye.